What's up, YouTube? This is Sea Dog, and I'm back with another Family Guy Mezco six-inch action figure review. And which one is it gonna be today? You never know. All right, let's find out. Without further ado, let's get to the review. Haha, -ha, here we go. It's gonna be two four because these guys are kind of a team. And I thought it'd be good to do them together. Plus, this is going to be a really cool review because they have a bunch of cool accessories. And uh, Stewie's got three, kind of four accessories, and Brian's got two. So first, we're going to just move the accessories out of the way. We're going to take a look at the figures first. We'll take a look, quick look at Stewie first. And this is Stewie. And he's got a cool expression. Why is my camera? There we go. He's got a really cool expression. Nice, stern, mean expression like he is. There's a little bit of a uh, paint mess up there in his eye. But it's not something that really bothers me. And, um... <laughs> there's a little bit of dust on him. I forgot to dust him off before. But he's got his blue shoes, his red overalls. He's got his cool hair uh, pieces, I guess, and his football head. So he's done really accurate to the show, and I like that. Looking at the side of him, looks just like the show in the back. Very nice. Good job on the paint on the red overalls. There's no real bleeding or anything. The yellow buttons could use a little bit better work. If you notice there's a little bit. They're a little bit shoddy, but but for the most part. He's done really well. He's got a swivel head. It will go all the way around if you like those kind of things. Make it look creepy or something. And he's got arms that will go 360. As long as you get the head out of the way. So, But this guy, he doesn't have a waist swivel. But they make up with it for the accessories that he does have. So that's Stewie. Looking at Brian here. He's got a nice kind of... Uh, fade kind of going through them like a nice wash you can see the color and the all the where the creases are kind of like peter did have on his shirt that i was showing you in the first review you can see it here in the legs and it's a little bit all throughout you can see it a little bit under the arms on his fingers you can see it a little bit in his ears under his nose where his mouth is and a little bit on his belly uh, the red collar has done well. There's no real bleeding or anything going on there. There's a little bit of a paint chip right there, but I believe that was my own fault. And the eyes are done really well on Brian. His nose is colored in black. There's no mess-ups there. And overall, he looks really good. He has his tail, so that's good. And he looks like Brian. And the coolest thing is they go together. I mean, they look just like the show. Uh, Brian has a swivel head. It's like Peter's because he's in Series 1. In Series 1, they had a hard time with the vinyl the swivels. It was a lot stickier than Series 2. Same with the arms. But, you know, it works. Uh, so he has swivel arms and swivel head. That's really all you need for a Family Guy figure, in my opinion. So you start putting all the articulation, it might mess up the look of it. Although I would love a Family Guy figure that had articulation that looked like the figure, like the characters. He comes with his coffee cup. That's one of his accessories. You can see there's a little bit of paint, uh, like too much paint here. You can see a little bit there. That's where they pieced it together, but you can see how it overlaps and whatnot. And you can see that it's filled up with translucent brown see-through plastic to, and with ripples to make it look like he has coffee. So that's done really cool. And it works. I mean, it fits in his one hand. He only has one hand that'll hold it, but he does have a hand that'll hold it. The other accessory Brian has is his newspaper. It's like a vinyl. What's going on with my focus? It's like a vinyl piece of rubber, a little bit soft. See how it kind of flexes a little bit. And you can see a little bit of printings from the newspaper on it. And what you can do is you can just kind of get it under your arm like this. Because as you know, Brian reads the newspaper. And it will fit under his arm. I've done it before. Where he holds it. Well, I'm also reaching ahead of me. So it makes it a little bit more difficult. 
Let's see if we can get it to work. There. So, yeah, he can hold his newspaper. All right. So Stewie, he's the one with all the cool accessories. I love this Stewie. I'm glad I got a Stewie that's not bedtime Stewie or happy Stewie. This is how Stewie usually is, the attitude type Stewie. One thing about these Family Guy figures is they remind me of Oblix toys, if anyone knows that. Uh, two points for the reference. Uh, two points for knowing it. But you can see the ring around the neck. That's how vinyl toys were made in like the 70s and 80s. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but not a big deal. So Stewie comes with three, kind of four accessories. We have the Weather Dominator, I believe this was called. And let's see if we can see the designs. We need to get better light on this. Uh, let's see. It's not really going to work any better. But anyways, uh, it says partly cloudy, tornado, blizzard, freezing rain, pestilence, sandstorm, apocalypse, and hurricane. And it's, you know, it's a still, it's nothing, it's not movable or anything. There's no articulated parts on it. But it's really cool for those that remember that season in the one of the first few seasons. I think it was season one, maybe even the first episode. Actually, wasn't it the first episode? For those that know, put it in this, uh, the comments below. But, you know, it's done in red. It's got a, kind of a darker wash here, and then bright red all around, around it. A little bit of a chip right there in the plastic, but not bad. It's got some kind of a more flexible uh, vinyl plastic here for the wires for the antenna. And it's in hard, hard plastic. All right, so then he's got that. He's oops, there goes that. And his newspaper. <laughs> um. So he's got that accessory. And then he's got his ray gun. Um, Lois also hid this in the cupboard. I think in episode one as well. And he's got a couple of blue buttons painted on. It's dark blue painted with a black handle, and it's got an orange. Kind of reminds me of something from Bugs Bunny or something, but it's really cool. Like a ray gun from the 1960s. And I believe he can hold it. We'll give it a shot. Um, hold on a second. So after futzing with it for about one second, it held it no problem. So he holds his ray gun no problem. Alright, and the last and probably the coolest accessory is his teddy bear. And we all know his teddy bear, but this one is a little bit different. This one, he has a handle, and if you pull off the head, it has a gun. It turns into the gun that he tries to fire at Lois, and that is really cool. And because it has a takeoff head, you can actually turn its head a little bit. Which, I don't know if you'd want to do that or not, but it does work. So that's a really, really cool accessory. That's what he looks like holding the teddy bear slash gun. That's going to be my review, guys. Let me know what you think of the figures. Let me know what you think of these Family Guy reviews. Please leave it in the comment section below. Go to my uh, link in the description for my Twitter and my Facebook. And pretty much like, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one. That's a wrap. I'm out of here. Peace. What the deuce?